Hello and welcome back to Jade Empire. Last time we explored this tea house and now we're going to go and explore Tien's landing. So, let's uh, get out of here very quickly. It was an interesting place. We got quite a lot of money and a few extra gems. And did we load outside? No loading glitch? Yeah, we made it outside. I'm going to save. Now, the question is, do we go back and speak to Dawnstar again? I think we do. Just because we had uh, Dawnstar's quest bug out on us a few times. Yes, yes, this loading screen happens. We're going to have it go into this conversation. We saw it last time, so I'm not going to go over it again if it's the same conversation. Well, this has already become an education. Uh yes, yes. Same conversation. We'll do it exactly the same way we did it last time. Yes, burning of dirge. Yes, yes. Right, let's uh, speak to Dawnstar. Is there anything you need? I'll do whatever I can to help. Well, uh, you see, I'm interested in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering no, you? No, I didn't have anything pressing on my mind. Although your company is always welcome. We seem so far from anything familiar. Strange enemies, troubling plots. I will be glad when we can leave this place to find Master Lee. Okay. Uh, general question. Um, be nope. Okay, she didn't have anything more to say, even though she had the yellow thing above her. Can we speak? I guess if we switch companion here. I am honored that you have chosen me. To Don Star, that means that we could speak to Zoo, but he has nothing new, so Let's we're actually going to switch simple. back to. If someone gets in our Don way, Star. remove. Oh, them. he's got two different styles. I didn't even notice this. Um, support you do all extra damage with weapon styles. Hmm. Don Star's support is actually surprisingly good for us, but I'm going to not use it because I don't like Don Star. But, it's nothing against Don, so I just don't feel she fits our character. Zoo agrees with every decision we make, which uh, is quite interesting. At least for just now. There might be someone later. I like when they have a little bit of conflict, but I just imagine Dawnstar would be complaining at us the entire time. It might get a little bit uh, weary. Right, let's have a look on the outside of this area. We've got this chest, filled with 32 go uh, silver. Yeah, nothing on the outside. Cool. Cool. And let's head... I guess we'll just head the north route to Tien's Landing. There are... Uh, let's, use, let's use the bigger map, because it's easier to see. Um, there are two routes into Tien's Landing here. Which we could take this, the south route down here into that kind of village. Or we can go the north route. Um, actually, let's let important people are in the north route. So we might take the south route and then... Uh, Head back around to the north route afterwards. Right. Let's uh, head down here. Anything there? Nope. Right. Down in the south route. Hello. What's going on here? Uh, don't be like that. Yeah, we're nice guys. Don't pretend you're better than us. Yeah, we don't want to be stuck in your stuck-up town either, you know? Hmm. Okay. Is this going to lead to something more? Yeah! You people need to relax. Have some wine with us. Yeah, you need wine, sweetie. Well, off not. Um, need some help? Sassy Look, yeah, if this well, keeps oh, up, I'm going to start punching and kicking. Those solos will find out who how good I am well, at fighting. So I'll smack them so hard, they'll, they'll, they'll see their own backsides. You alright? I am fine. You need not worry about me. I am a peasant girl. I grew up on the farm and out in the fields. I know how to take care of myself. Still, thank, thank you for asking. It's rare these days to see someone who actually cares about others. Uh, sailors, why are the sailors creating such problems? Their ship is trapped in port. It has been here for a few days. They're itching to get back to the water, but they can't. So they're going crazy and getting drunk. They get worse every day. I swear by my ancestors, I'm going to kill one of them soon. Can't the authorities do anything? I don't know. Why don't you ask the authorities? Mistress, Mis Minister Shen is in the town square in front of the burned out husk of his former ministry building. He's one of the most useful government officials I've ever seen and he's not a bad man. I'm sure he'll be happy to tell you why he can't possibly do anything. 
Can't the ship's captain can't control his sailors? Their captain? He stays by his ship down in Beggar's Pier. I think he just wants to be gone from here. He tried to control them for the first few days. In fact, I remember when the ship first pulled into port, they were a very well-behaved crew. Rather than most, really, that they had been here too long. You can go down to Beggar's Pier and ask the captain for yourself. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. The sailors probably won't bother you unless they get really desperate. No, never mind. Just watch out for those sailors. They're nasty ones. Okay. Hello, uh, sailors. Yes. What? What do you want? Um. Yes. If I ever see you harassing a woman again, I will kill you. Kill me. That reminds me of my favorite song. I'm a sailor fine. And I like my wine on the water blue and, 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 and do you know the rest of the words? Makes sense, you drunken idiot. Making sense on the water blue, I know a sailor named Are you sure you don't know the so what do you call him? Words. Yes, the words. Don't you know them? Okay, we're getting nothing out of that guy. This just takes us around to the front of the tea house? Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so we'll leave the sailors alone for just now. Um, right, who have we got? Got this guy, Chuman. Hello, and welcome to Chuman's Woodcrafts. I'm afraid I don't have any oh. woodwork items ready right now. My inventory's a bit understocked. Who are you? I'm Chuman the Craftsman. Nobody important. Just a simple merchant of fine woodwork items. A merchant who may not be in business much longer, I'm afraid. There are several customers who owe me money, but with the dam open, times are hard. I can't expect them to pay me when they can't even feed their families. And if they don't pay me, I can't afford the raw materials to make my woodwork. It's a difficult situation, but I'm trying to make the best of it. Maybe I could help you collect. No, no, that won't be necessary. I don't want to cause any trouble for my customers. I'm sure they'll pay me eventually. At least, I hope so. I see an opportunity for money. Your customers are taking advantage of you. You might be right. I'm a fine craftsman, but I'm not much for business. I extend credit too easily, and then I can't bring myself to collect. It's just not in my nature. I could help you collect. No, no, that won't be necessary. I don't want to cause any trouble for my customers. I'm sure they'll pay me eventually. At least, I hope so. I'll be going there. Farewell. Well, I mean, that's all we're going to get out of them. I thought there was going to be, like, maybe a co go collect things quest, but it doesn't appear to be. Alright, so we can see how the dam would, uh, the water should be kind of going along there, but just isn't. Right, what else have we got? We've got a small cask all the way out here. Inferior intuition gem. Not that useful. We'll probably sell all of our intuition stuff. We'll probably get some money out of it. Ooh, a jar. Can I kick it? Oh, of course I can. 18 silver. Definitely worth it. Hello, none of you are important. Yep. How about you? Listen. Welcome, stranger! Welcome to beautiful Tien's Landing! Isn't it a glorious day? Oh, I know, people complain and grumble, but honestly, I think they're overreacting. Things can't be that bad, right? After all, you're here! If the town was truly doomed, would we still be getting visitors? Ha! <laughs> I think not! Huh. In fact, huh. I think your presence here is a sure sign that things are looking up! Soon, all our problems will be solved. It's just like I kept saying. Okay, well, um, who are you? People call me Lee Shun the Talkative, though I have no idea why. I'm actually a basket maker. In fact, I dare say I am the best basket maker in all of Tien's Landing. Of course, with the dam open, ships can't navigate the river. So, I have no supplies to make my baskets and no customers to buy them. But am I worried? <laughs> of course not. My children only need one meal a day. After all, they're small. And my wife can take a third job if necessary. I know things will turn around soon. Okay. Glad to keep your spirits up. 
Things will get better. They always do. It's like my Logic father used to say, himself. the greater the problem, yes. the greater the solution. I'm sure it'll all work out. I'm sure it'll all work out, too. Enjoy Goodbye. your stay in wonderful Tien's Landing, where things are never as bad as they seem. Thank you for showing me a good view of your head, top of your head before we went away. Hello, dock worker. Hey, easy being a dock worker. We don't get paid much, but we sure earn it. Okay. Hello, fisherman. One thing that is good about being a fisherman. Don't care. Right. Let's move on. Uh, anybody else here? Boy. How come the grown up stop talking when I come into a room? I don't know. Maybe it's because you don't wear a shirt. They're, they're probably like, why, why is our child not wearing a shirt? It's a little odd. Um, right. So this is the other path down to this bit. Hmm. We didn't actually get trapped there. We d it was just about geometry. I still want to make sure we don't miss anything on this path. Like these two people. Peasant man and peasant woman. They're very important to the story, you know. I have no idea. But I don't think they are. Right. Uh, let's head along here. We got the boathouse. Very impressive building. We'll go into the buildings after we go into everywhere else. Uh, so we got a couple of men over there. Hello. Couple of uh, sailors. Big TN. Hello. Look at all these people here. When my old father told me to come to the big city, he never warned me about the crowds. You think TN's Landing is a big city? Back on the farm, I ain't never seen so many people and buildings in one place. Except for livestock. But I guess they ain't people. Or buildings. Uh, who are you? My name's Tian, but everyone calls me Big Tian because I'm so big. I came to the city to try to find me a wife. So far, it's not going so good. You wouldn't happen to know any pretty young gals, would you? Someone who'd want to come live on the farm with me? That sounds incredibly cheapy. Cheapy? Cheapy. That was the word I went with. Uh, I was going for creepy, but cheapy? Whatever. It's our new word. Uh, how much money are you willing to pay? Nice. What are you talking about? <gasps> oh, I get it. My old father warned me about your type. I ain't looking to buy me no woman. No lady for hire type gals for this country, boy. I just want a nice, respectable gal to be my wife. One who can help me out on the farm and such. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go. Okay. Well, goodbye then. Have a nice day and all. Cool. Dark worker book stand. The Cataclysm. Many tales circulate of the travels of the water people, but one of the most disturbing tales comes from far to the west, beyond the ocean of Tempest. Rumours persist of an area in the middle of the western ocean that is inhospitable to life. The farther one travels across the ocean of Tempest, the warmer the climate becomes. Many have postulated that this may, may be because you approach the resting place of the sun, but there must be another explanation not shrouded in mist and superstition. On particular notes are reports of enormous cloud that rises miles into the air visible to those few brave enough to travel the increasingly rough seas of Tempest. At night, this crowd glows with heat and its acrid smell carries on the wind. Those who approach too closely fall ill. The few ghost ships found in the area were filled with desiccated corpses, their skin rotting and their hair and teeth falling from their bodies. One particular disturbing log penned in shaking hand of a dying captain in one of these lost crafts, suggests that the skies were filled with a roar like the cries of the gods. They finished with the unfortunate man's wish that death take him before the howling demons descended upon him. Interesting. I wonder what that... That sounds like it's referring to something, but... I don't quite know enough to uh, figure out what that is. Okay, so we got this guy here. Fisherman. Got this weird rope. Okay. Uh, nothing really going on there. Can we go around the side? Of, I think we'll go around the side of the boathouse next. See if there are any little uh, things to open. That's kind of our default position. 
Alright. So. Hello. We're, we're, don't mind us. We're just uh, having a look. Six silver. Trap sprung. Fair enough. Oh, but we got something out of it. Oh, there we go. Flawed monk gem. It took us a few times of wandering into it. I'm going to heal up. Right. And let's keep going. Nothing back here. Another thing. The other part of the rope. Nothing back there. Cool. So they just got the whole back of that uh, nicely made up, but nothing there. Right. Let's uh, leave the boathouse for just now. And we'll talk to these people. Irkana. Hello. Another game for a do you tire of losing? Let's talk to um, Jeanne of the Iron Fist first. You play too conservatively, Vo. You must be bold when playing the game of Yi. Did I teach you nothing? You taught me much, Jeanne, but the most valuable lessons were learning where you were wrong. 17th square of the lion, if you please. Mm, wise move. But you know you cannot win. You stall this game the way you hesitated to learn of harmonic combinations. You must be bold. You are being rude, Gian. We have a guest. Let us place the game on hold a moment. I was doing my best to ignore you too. Very well. What do you want from Gian, the Iron Fist, or Mistress Vo? If you're here for training, I refuse. Um, what kind of training can you offer? None. Too many people seek our guidance. Do not be so hasty, Jian. You did not turn me aside all those years ago. Not at all. Not and look where that got us. Your foolish devotion to the way of the open palm drove you from my tutelage and made you weak. No more. End of the subject. What exactly are you doing? We're having a game of Yi Interrupted. Playing without the board or pieces is hard enough without some stranger interrupting. Surely you know of Yi, the capturing game? Played on a board of 19 rows and columns, the black and white pieces capture territory for their player. We've simply decided to do away with the board. If one is properly focused, it is not so hard to keep the game in one's mind. What kind of training can you two offer? No, too many people seek our do guidance. Not be so hasty, Gian. Not at all. Yes. I have some questions about Tian's landing. Then you should ask them to someone who cares. Forgive him. Had my former master bothered to remember his manners, he might have told you that we are not from Tian's landing. We know little of the events here. The Empire posts the minister to look after this place. Xiang is his name, I think. Pester him if you must know more about this place. I'll leave you two to your game. The Iron Fist isn't honestly going to let this one walk away, is he? If you don't say anything, then I will, you old goat. As much as it pains me, Vo is right. I see potential in you, greater strength than the dozens of worms who have competed for my favor. I too see strength, but also the capacity for understanding the world and your place in it. You could prove an interesting pupil. Does this mean you'll train me? I'll make you an offer. Show me you understand every nuance of the way of the closed fist, and I will teach you how to bend the storms to your will through tempest. He would like nothing more than to have you as a student. But show me that you walk the way of the open palm, and I will teach you the mysteries of Stone Immortal. Both Tempest and Stone Immortal are very sensitive to your temperament. Harmony or discord can affect your ability to control air and earth respectively. We'll be here for some time. If you wish to either, if you wish either of our tutelage, but do not ask us to guide you on your path. Learning the ways on your own is the most important lesson. Okay, so what are we currently in? We are currently, we are neutral as neutral can be. So we can't learn either of these techniques. But we'll come back if we ever actually go to a way. I believe these people are here for the entire game, so there's no rush. I believe we can keep coming back here. I think. Uh, we're going to head along here. We're going to go do all the buildings after. You know what? We'll do the buildings as we get to the... We'll clear an area, then we'll do the, around the building, then we'll do the buildings. That'll probably work. Hello. This here's a private club. Members only. I'm a member. How do I become a member? You can't. Just move along. Oh. Fine. You have a nice day now. Okay. Well, that was... Nothing. Okay. Right. 
Um, yeah, I think we head right. Hello? Nothing here? Cool. Oh, hello. This is my corner. I paid for it. Yeah, I was looking to uh, maybe have a look at your wares. Well, never mind. Um, hello, Merchant Zhang. Oh, who's this? Xiping. Okay. Hello, Merchant Zhang. You excuse me, I have many customers. I try to provide good service, so I must be about my business. Hello, Xiping. Hello. Shipping. You do not need to speak with me. I am just Merchant Xiang's assistant. Perhaps someday I will be Merchant Xipeng, mightiest merchant of Tian's Landing. But for now, I am just an assistant, not worthy of your honorable time. Oh, okay. Um, how do I use Merchant? Merchant, Oi. hello. I can't buy anything from him? Okay, fine. No, nobody wants to sell anything in this town. Hello, Filthy beggar. thieves stole my rags! Okay. Hello, dock worker. Even a village yeah, as important. small as this has a place to hide its undesirables. Okay, hello, You're beggar. Spot. You won't catch anything from me. Well, nothing dangerous. Okay, we'll be off. Hello, dock worker. Nope, not important. Right. Um, more people randomly walking around. Urchin, hello. Sword? Don't care. Right. Hello, darting links. Hello there, stranger. I have Hello spotted there. you around Tian's Landing before. You've come at a bad time, what with the dam being open and all. Regardless, it's good to meet you. I'm Darting Lynx, the acrobat. Unfortunately, I'm not putting any shows on in Tian's Landing, if that's why you're here. And then what kind of shows would you have normally put on? You know, feats of balance and precision, delicate routines to shock and amaze. Whatever brings some silver, really. I travel around the countryside putting on acts and sometimes teaching people a few tricks. Hey, now that I think of it, you're a warrior, right? Sure, you could call us that. I may not be putting on any shows here, but I could teach you a few techniques to improve your balance and speed if you're interested. Definitely. Show me what you have. I'd be happy to. I'll be leaving Tian's Landing someday soon, and silver always helps the trip go smoother. Let's okay, see what I can she teach sell? You. Yes, yes. Alright, she sells some gems, which are not important. She sells Balance of Nature, which gives a huge focus increase. Wow. We can actually afford it as well. Hawk's Elegance, which gives a small focus increase. Uh, conditioning of the body. Alright, so I think Balance of Nature seems like something we may try and get. That seems fantastic. We could get it right now. In fact, we're going to sell a couple of things as well. We're going to sell our Monk Gem. Uh, sell. And sell our Intuition Gem. Sell our Good Fortune Gem. Yes. Sell Flawed Warrior Gem. Uh, all of them. Sell our Slick Gem. And sell our Flawed Scholar Gem. Cool. Uh, and then, well, I would like to purchase your Balance of Nature. Uh, your Hawk's Elegance, your Conditioning of the Body, and Swallowed Grace. Gives us more charm as well. Great. We, lo we know everything. Hello again. What's on your mind this fine day? Um, how did you come about your name, Darting Lynx? It's not much of a story, really. It's just a stage name I picked up when I first started practicing acrobatics. I was quite young, and my master felt I was a little too fast for my own good. You dart like a lynx, he would say, but you balance like a drunken frog. <laughs> he taught me to slow my movements and really focus on what I was doing, but his nickname for me stuck. Cool. All the best to you. All the best. We now have I a lot more focus. That's great. Who said that? Okay. Hello. Sorry, stranger. I stick to my regular customers. All right, fine. Ooh, stop right here. there! I gave you two extra duty. Get back to that galley and start cleaning. We don't have to listen to you, Ing. You're a captain without a ship. She's nothing but a landlocked house now. I will discover a way to free this ship. Until then, you'd better follow orders. I've had enough of you and your orders. Now get back in that ship. I'm your captain, understand? 
Well, you're still the captain. For now. But if you don't get us out of this town soon, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. Then we'll see what's what. All right. Hello, Captain Ng. If you've come to complain about my men, I don't want to hear it. When Minister Shen gets the great dam closed, we'll be happy to leave. Until then, we're stuck here. Um, who are you? I'm Captain Ng. This is my ship, the Lucky Knight. She's a fine vessel, or was. But now that the great dam is open, the Lucky Knight is stranded here along with me and my men. We're sailors. We don't belong on land. If we could just get our ship back on the water, everything would be fine. But that won't happen until someone finds a way to close the dam. Hmm, okay. Um, if the river is too fast and low, why don't you go close the dam? If I leave the ship, my men will have Tien's Landing in flames. The locals think the dam is haunted, and Minister Sheng can't find anyone brave enough to risk closing it. Mm, how much would you pay to have the Great Dam closed? I'm not a rich man, but my reputation, my ship, and my men are worth everything I can give. Close the dam and free us. And I'll give you all the silver I have. Done. Um, I'll go do that right you now. You won't get too far if you don't speak to Minister Shang first. The dam is located in the ruins, but a pair of massive gates blocks the way. Only Shang has the key. Okay. Cool. I'll be back once the dam is closed and the river is not so low and fast. Good luck. I'm not used to needing help from others. It's hard for me to say this, but thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Don't beggar. Don't bother me. I may be a beggar, but I'm on my break right now. Oh, all right. Cool. Team is clear here. What have we got? Ooh, hello. Who are you? Scholar Six Heavens. Finally. Someone stronger than these cowed peasants. This town disgusts me. I am Scholar Six Heavens, and I need someone who possesses great strength and skill. Okay. What I do not need, however, is someone who walks the way of the open palm. I can read in every movement that you would protect the weak and coddle the poor. Oh. Um, you say you need help, but not mine. That is exactly the case. You are not worthy to help me in my task. I need someone who understands the discord, friction, and trial are the true sources of strength. If I can see by your actions that you understand the way of the closed fist, I promise to make it worth your while. Otherwise, I will not waste any more time with you. Okay. Fair enough. We'll come back to him if we end up being evil. Hello. What do you want? Can't you see we're busy drinking here? Gotta wash away our sorrows. Yes, yes, I see you're very busy. Soros, what do you mean? No fun being trapped in this town. We don't know nobody, we ain't seen our families in months, and now we're stuck here. That'd drive anyone to drink. I'll be going uh, there. Okay, then. Cool. Uh, we'll leave them alone, then. Then this takes us to a sealed gate, which we presumably can't get in. Right, well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll go and, uh, well, explore the rest of Tien.